AM 1160. And good morning to you. I just need to do one thing in my computer here to see that I took care of that. And I did. How about that? I actually got something right this morning, Joe. That's that's kind of rare. I don't know about that. <laughs> Joe Kinter with us here this morning from downtown Indiana. Let's properly introduce the segment. He is Joe Kinter, downtown Indiana, representing uh, the organization today for us here on WCCS. Our conversation brought to you by Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people. Joe, they they say that there are some things that are known as Chamber of Commerce Days. I'm not guessing this is one of them. <laughs> <laughs> not very many cars out on the street this morning. No, no. People are being cautious. Uh, but I guess in a way it can be a, a Chamber of Commerce type of day because we're seeing how people are handling this situation with grace. It's nicely, nicely done by folks around Indiana County. We're all in the same community. <laughs> there you go. Let's talk about downtown Indiana and what you have coming up because it is always a busy time for downtown Indiana planning for future events and uh, getting ready for some events that are in the very near future. Yes, that's right. Uh, the most immediate of which is the um, bowl full of chili cook-off mm. at Noblestein. Did you bring any with you today? I, d <laughs> I don't have it today, but I'll remember to keep some. Okay. Uh, bring it to you the <laughs> next time we speak. It'll actually be around the corner from the next time we speak. So um, that event is uh, being held on Saturday, February 26th from 12 to 3 p.m. at Noblestein Brewing Company. Okay. Uh, the the gist is similar to the first time we did this, which was uh, right before the, the COVID shutdown. So th there are uh, categories for chili and cornbread, mm -hmm. and we have three groups of chefs this time. We have professional chefs, which are industry folks who will enter uh, their chili and cornbread. We have uh, this year, students from the IUP Culinary School competing oh. in their category. Against each other. Against each other. Ooh. Uh, and then we'll have amateurs like me and you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> people who, who have, uh, you know, family recipes or have, mm -hmm. have recently found one that they like. Um, I just did chili last week, as a matter of fact. It's, it's great. I mean, you, you have it when it's cold and it's available for lunches or dinners when you mm -hmm. need it down the road. Mm -hmm. How it's is yours? Something. Oh, mine's wonderful. <laughs> I do it with my own homemade sauce. Uh huh. Um, and I actually make the spaghetti sauce in the summertime. Okay. And uh, and I I keep a batch of it deliberately thinner so that I can use it for chili in the wintertime. Okay. So for you a meat chili, a bean chili. Oh, meat meat and bean and pepper and uh, and tomato. Okay. Uh, it it all comes together to form something wonderful. Well, maybe we should recruit you as an amateur chef. <laughs> <laughs> Local celebrity. That well, would help. speaking of which, then, how do people get uh, get signed up if they want to do this? So we're uh, we're going to start with the the pros and the uh, students to make sure we have enough spots for them. We have just because of the space, you know, there are 15 entrants total, uh, and so we're working on nailing down the pros and the students, and then we'll open it up to the community for the amateurs. Oh. So if you just keep an eye on DI's social media feeds, um, within the next week we'll we'll open that up and. Uh, just ask that you respond in that way. Okay. All right. That's easy. So Easy enough. Hopefully easy enough. Um, a few, I guess, kind of interesting things. Tickets are available uh, for $20 online um, at ShowClix. So DI has a, a ShowClix page, and this event is listed under there. You can buy them online. Mm -hmm. They will also be available at the door. Um, that $20 gets you entrance to the event and tasting as many of – the uh, entries as you want. Mm -hmm. uh, at Noblestein, we'll have live music throughout. Uh, the judges will name the winners at 2.30. Uh, the, the winners will receive some cool prizes. We have the in-category winners, and we also have a best-in-show for the best overall. Uh, and the event participants will get a vote in, in who is determined to be the winner. Mm -hmm. uh, and our event sponsors this year are Cavalan uh, Cavalancia Orthodontics and East Market Family Dental. There you go. There you go. Taking care of your teeth and exactly getting yourself some great chili too. I got some young entrep well, young business owners that we're trying to engage with, and uh, yeah, they very uh, gracefully agreed to sponsor this year. Good job, good job. What else do you have with downtown Indiana? Uh, a few things just in the near future: St. Patrick's Day celebration uh, with the Coney. Uh, working on details with them, and and more will be available soon. Um, we're planning the Arts Walk again this year in late April. Um, and then the live music events in IRMC Park will start in April as well. Um, and I wanted to, to note, I was as I was like 
preparing for this this morning, kind of looking around at what was going on. Mm-hmm. There's there's a lot going on in in the community, um, yeah. particularly as it relates to to arts. Um, the Indiana players this weekend have the drama of love. The IUP Museum is opening exib- an exhibit called Treasures from the Wardrobe. The artist Hand has a couple cool exhibits. Um, and then not related to arts, but uh, a cool event, the Chamber of Commerce is hosting the Indiana County Women's Summit on Monday from 12 to 4 at the KCAC with some cool events and a, a great keynote speaker from Pittsburgh. Yeah, I know that's a rescheduled event, uh, and it, it's good that they were able to get it rescheduled because that's become a very important part of uh, of their the Chamber of Commerce's uh, schedule. But uh, it, it's really a good summit. It's a good event. Yeah, uh, I think there's networking, there's brainstorming, there are... Uh, there's like a happy hour to follow uh, mm-hmm. along with the keynote speak, uh, speaker address. So, Joe Kinter is our guest. We're talking about downtown Indiana with some upcoming events. I'm sure you have more. <laughs> Those are the ones in the near term. The, uh, the rest of the events are a little later off into the summer, um, and, and we'll you know talk more about those as, as they come up. But one of the other things I wanted to just raise with everyone this morning um, – you know, we're looking for volunteers, people who are community minded, want to help plan and execute events, work on downtown beautification and contribute to some of the economic vitality initiatives. And so for those who are interested, um, you can either engage with us through the social media feed or, or send an email to info at downtown Indiana dot org. Mm-hmm. Um, let us know what you're interested in, what your skills are, how you want to contribute and. Uh, we'll put those interests and skills to good use. There you go. There you go. There certainly is plenty to do, isn't there? There is. There is. And uh, especially, you know, with uh, uh, with the intention of expanding kind of the reach of the initiatives that we have, we're looking really for ways to engage with people who have an interest in in participating in the community. And with the, the different varieties of things that people can do, um, you mentioned, uh, you know, people who can clean up a little mm-hmm. bit after after events or before events or just as a, um, a regular routine. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I know that uh, when we get the flowers back on the on the light poles, uh, those will need maintenance uh, through the course of the summertime. And there are plenty of opportunities, I guess is what I'm saying, for people to be pretty helpful to downtown Indiana and to their neighborhoods. Yeah, exactly. As, so our work uh, in the early part of the year is to, def- well, to define those roles so that people – can choose uh, among them based on what they want to do, based on what they're good at. Um, there's, like you said, there, there's lots of opportunities from an event planning and execution standpoint. You know, we're building out the committees for the bigger events that we have uh, each year at downtown Indiana. Uh, there are plenty of, you know, infrastructure maintenance type things, whether it's flower baskets, litter pickup, uh, you know, tree bed maintenance. Um, and then, you know, we'll have some hopefully cool projects engaging with local businesses through the Economic Vitality Mm -hmm. Committee. I'm sure there are businesses in downtown Indiana that are not part of the organization as well that you'd love to have jump on board. Yeah, uh, part of, uh, you know, as we, you know, move into the new year, part of the the goal is to re-engage everyone and and try and keep their thoughts, their preferences, their needs in mind as we're planning events, as we're working on initiatives. So, yeah, for, for sure we're looking for a, you know, a complete set of participants in that process. Yeah, yeah. How often does downtown Indiana meet? We uh, The board meets once a month, and then each of the committees, um, the the four committees on the board also meet, meet once a month. Yeah. So. Downtown Indiana is a very vital organization, which simply means that they do a lot of things. Uh, and, uh, Thanks. And, trying. and <laughs> as, as part of that, uh, there are festivals to plan, and uh, and as Joe said, as you said, that, you know, the number of committees that are needed uh, to put together one event, especially one big event, um, if there's a role, there's a service that somebody can play practically the whole way through. Absolutely. Um, starts with, you know, figuring out sponsorships. Uh, it then includes engagement with, um, you know, providers, whether that be restaurants or wineries or breweries. It includes engaging with potential participants. And then, you know, day of, there's plenty of setup and yeah. And execution. So there are lots of roles that can be filled. And um, like I said, you know, we're we're trying to play the role of facilitator. We just want to help make sure that people who want to give back to the community have those opportunities. All right. Very good. Once again, the chili cook-off is on. 
Uh, Saturday, February 26th. Mm -hmm. And for folks to uh, get on board and maybe become a chili provider, uh, they can just watch the social media page. You'll take care of them that way. Yes, sir. And it's at Noble Stein. Noble Stein Brewing. Very good. He's Joe Kinder. Thanks so much. Thank you. It is the voice of Indiana County, WCCS, 101.1 FM and AM 1160. Good morning to you. It is uh, 8.57, about two and a half minutes away from the top of the hour. And Fox News coming then. At Diamond Medical Supply, the health and well-being of our community is always close to our hearts. What better way to promote that feeling than a special American Heart Month sale on all heart health products? From now through the end of February, save 15% off on all blood pressure monitors, blood pressure cuffs, stethoscopes, and all pulse oximeters. And if that doesn't quicken your pulse, we're also taking 20% off orthotic braces and 25% off scrubs. Celebrate American Heart Month at Diamond Medical Supply, Indiana, where we care about care. Win $5,000 in car payments for a year or one of nine free complete oil changes from Luther Ford Lincoln in Quick Lane Tire and Auto Center in Homer City. Register today on any of your hometown radio station websites or look for the link on our Facebook pages. Registration is now open. Register anytime now through February 28th. You could win car payments of $5,000 for one year from Luther Ford as part of a national contest, and you'll be eligible to win one of nine free oil changes from Quick Lane Tire and Auto Center. Oil changes will be given away for nine straight weeks every Monday beginning February 7th through April 9th. Registration is open right now and continues through Monday, February 28th. Just log on to any of our Renda Media of Indiana websites or look for the link on our Facebook pages. $5,000 in car payments for a year contest and free oil changes given away from Indiana County's Ford leader, Luther Ford Lincoln, and Quick Lane Tire and Auto Center, Route 119 in Homer City. Do you ever have questions in your life? Questions that you are searching to find answers to? Hi, I'm Pastor Ben Blowers with the Indiana Wesleyan Methodist Church, and I want to invite you to listen to our church sponsor.